Have you ever wondered how the elusive Black Panthers continue their lineage in the wild? These magnificent, mysterious creatures, known for their sleek ebony coats and fierce, piercing gaze, are a marvel of nature. Today we're going to explore a rarely discussed aspect of their lives, their reproduction. Understanding the reproductive cycle of the Black Panther is not merely a matter of curiosity. It is, in fact, crucial to their conservation efforts. With their numbers dwindling in the wild, every detail of their life cycle can help us ensure their survival. The Black Panther's breeding habits are as intriguing as the animals themselves. From the unique rituals involved in their mating season to the careful nurturing of their young, every aspect of their reproduction is a testament to the intricate design of nature. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of Black Panther reproduction. Let's unravel the mysteries that surround these majestic creatures and their captivating, often hidden lives. When it comes to Black Panther reproduction, timing is everything. The mating season of these elusive creatures is not set to a specific time of year. Instead, it is dependent on the female's estrus cycle, which can occur multiple times a year. This is a time when the female is most fertile and ready to mate, a process that nature has perfectly timed for the propagation of the species. Females communicate their readiness to mate in a few distinctive ways. One of these ways is through scent marking. Females will rub their bodies against trees and other objects, leaving behind a unique scent that attracts males from miles around. This scent is a powerful message in the wild, signaling that a female is ready to mate and drawing the males to her. But the communication doesn't stop there. Vocalizations are another way females signal their readiness. They emit a series of low growls and purrs, which, in the language of the wild, is an open invitation to potential mates. These sounds, while may seem harsh to our ears, are music to the ears of a male panther on the prowl. It's the call of the wild, a call that resonates through the dense forests and reverberates off the mountainsides, reaching out to the males in the vicinity. The males, upon receiving these signals, will begin their journey towards the female. This is a time of heightened activity in the panther world, as males compete for the right to mate with the female. It's a time of tension, competition, and anticipation, a time when the quiet stealth of the panther gives way to the assertive pursuit of propagation. So the mating season begins with the female's call, but how does the actual mating process occur? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the fascinating world of black panther reproduction in the next scene. Once the female has signaled her readiness, an intricate mating dance begins. In the heart of the jungle, the male panthers, drawn by the female's call, embark on a quest to prove their worthiness. The air is thick with anticipation as these majestic creatures respond to nature's call. The intrigue of the black panther's mating dance lies not just in the dance itself, but in the events leading up to it. The males, each sensing the other's presence, enter into a fierce competition for the female's attention. They might engage in a display of physical prowess, a show of strength and agility that can be both riveting and terrifying. It's a silent, intense exchange, every movement heavy with meaning. This is no ordinary dance, it's a primal performance, a testament to the raw power and sheer tenacity of these incredible creatures. As the male panthers vie for dominance, the female watches, her discerning gaze taking in every detail. She is the judge of this silent contest, her choice ultimately determining the victor. The males, aware of her scrutiny, put on their best show, each trying to outdo the other in a display of strength and skill. Finally, the decision is made. The chosen male approaches the female, his movements slow and deliberate. The air crackles with tension as the two panthers circle each other, their eyes locked in a piercing gaze. This is the moment they've been waiting for, the culmination of their dance. The ritual that follows is a delicate balance of power and grace, a dance like no other. The Black Panther's mating ritual is a spectacle of nature's raw beauty and brutal honesty. It's a dance of dominance and submission, a dance of life. And then, as quickly as it began, the dance ends. The male retreats, leaving the female to her solitude once again. The jungle returns to its usual hum the echoes of the dance fading into the night. After this intense ritual, what happens next in the Black Panther's reproductive cycle? The Black Panther's gestation period is a time of preparation and anticipation. This phase, which lasts roughly three months, is a critical period in the cycle of Black Panther reproduction. 
During this time, the female panther adapts her behavior to accommodate the needs of her unborn cubs. She becomes more solitary, avoiding unnecessary contact with others of her kind, and begins to search for a suitable den. This will be a safe and secluded spot, often a cave or a hollowed-out tree where she can give birth and care for her cubs without disturbance. As the gestation period progresses, the expectant mother's instincts kick in. She might become more cautious and protective, even aggressive, to safeguard her unborn cubs. She will also consume more food than usual, storing up the energy she'll need for the birth and the care of her young ones. The gestation period is a time of transformation, not just for the mother-to-be, but for the entire panther community. The other panthers sensing the arrival of a new generation may become more alert and territorial. This heightened state of awareness helps to ensure the safety of the cubs once they are born. Towards the end of the gestation period, the female panther will retreat to her chosen den. Here, she makes final preparations for the arrival of her cubs. She may line the den with leaves and grass to create a soft, warm bed for her young. This is also where she will stay, nursing and protecting her cubs for the first few weeks of their lives. The gestation period is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the Black Panther. It showcases their incredible ability to prepare for and adapt to the challenges of parenthood. The expectant mother, in particular, undergoes dramatic changes, physically and behaviorally, to ensure the survival and success of her offspring. With preparations complete, the birth of the new generation is imminent. This period of anticipation and preparation gives way to one of nature's most remarkable events, the birth of Black Panther cubs, an event that embodies the enduring cycle of life in the wild. The arrival of Black Panther cubs marks the beginning of a new chapter, a chapter filled with the promise of life, the thrill of the hunt, and the continuation of the species. And so, the cycle begins anew, with the birth of these magnificent creatures. The birth process for Black Panthers is much like that of other big cats. After a gestation period of roughly 90 to 105 days, the female will seek out a safe and secluded location for the birth. This could be a cave, a dense thicket, or even a tree hollow. It's a place where she can feel safe, protected, and can nurture her newborns away from the prying eyes of predators. Typically, a black panther will give birth to a litter of two to four cubs. These cubs, unlike their sleek and powerful parents, are born blind and helpless. They rely entirely on their mother for their survival. Their eyes, a stunning emerald green, won't open until they are about two weeks old. But even then, their world remains confined to the safe haven their mother has chosen until they are strong enough to venture out. In the early days of their life, these cubs will feed solely on their mother's milk. They will stay close to their mother, learning the ways of the wild from her actions, her reactions, and her teachings. They will mimic her, follow her, and learn from her. It's a crucial time for their development, a time when they learn the skills they need to survive in the wild. As they grow, their playful antics will turn into serious practice sessions. They will learn to stalk, to pounce, to hunt. And before we know it, they will be ready to venture out into the vast wilderness to claim their own territory, to write their own stories. From the first call of the female to the birth of the cubs, Black Panther reproduction is a fascinating journey. A journey that ensures the survival of this magnificent species and the continuation of a legacy that's as old as time itself. Black Panther reproduction is a complex but essential process for the survival of these magnificent creatures. From the intriguing panther's initial calls to the wild, signaling the start of the mating season to the mesmerizing mating dance, each stage is a testament to the intricacy of wildlife. The gestation period, a time of waiting and preparation, gives way to the birth of a new generation. These young ones, born helpless and dependent, symbolize hope for the continuation of the species. Their journey from infancy to maturity is a constant cycle of learning and adapting, echoing the rhythm of life in the wild. Every stage holds its own significance, contributing to the perpetuation of the species. The entire process from mating to birth carries the promise of life, underscoring the vital role of reproduction in the circle of life. As we continue to learn and appreciate their reproductive process, we contribute to the conservation and understanding